Hello there and welcome to this short introduction into basic integration. Basically I'll be showing you how to integrate indefinite integrals, that's integration without limits, and just telling you a bit of what integration is. Basically, integration is the finding of a function from its derivative. Now let's say we have y is equal to xn. Now, n. Let me just note that n cannot be equal to minus 1. This is just one thing that you have to watch out with for integration because if n is equal to minus 1, as you'll see later, you'll get x to the power of 0, which always equals 1, and by using what would normally work as integration, the rule just won't work. So it's for all values when n is not equal to minus 1. Now, say that's the derivative of some earlier function. Now, to find the original function, you take xn do the integral of x to the power of n with respect to x this, this dx bit just means with respect to x and although it doesn't seem much it's needed especially when in the exam this is equal to now I would like to use square brackets just to show the examiner that I'm undertaking integration and you put your x stand that out now the n changes to n plus 1 you add 1 to the power so in integration you add 1 to the power and then you multiply this x to the power of n plus 1 by 1 over n plus 1 but the one last bit plus c now although it might not seem much this plus c is the bit that if you forget it you'll lose a mark right there and this is because it basically shows that you know that there could have been a constant in the function before it was either differentiated or whatever the concept, whatever it is in the context of the question. But when you differentiate certain functions, you lose a number. So if it's got no coefficient of x, when you differentiate it, you'll lose it. And when you integrate it, you don't know what that is, so you have to put a plus c. This plus c only applies to indefinite integrals, so if you haven't got any limits here and here, if you haven't got an upper limit or a lower limit, then you must put this plus c. This plus c is needed. Now, rather than trying it on the original x to the power of n, let's find some other examples on differentiation, on integration, sorry. Integrate with respect to x the, integ the integral let's just write that down of 1 over x to the power of 5 dx d x. Now, at first you may think that fraction seems a bit scary, but it's not. It's all to do with the indice. Now, as you know, the fraction is equal to 1 over x to the power of 5 is also equal to 
integral of x to the power of minus 5. That's what the minus signs mean on an indice, 1 over that number. So that can be changed from that to that. So now we're ready to integrate. But don't forget dx. This is also equal to square bracket or a more rectangle, but never mind. All right, let's write down your x. Now, m plus 1. Now, don't make the mistake of making that 6. Don't just plus 1 and think 5 plus 1 is 6. Minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4. Does the minus, well, the sign of the indice does matter. Minus 4. Now that you've got your power, you multiply that by the x. Over minus 4. Don't forget plus c as well. And that's that example done.